What's happening party people? This is Pete with Backdraft Bikes. I'm coming at you with another review here of a very exciting bike that I've enjoyed riding, the Indian Dark Horse. Stick around, why don't you? All right, folks, I'm gonna give you a ride on this. This is the 2021 Indian Dark Horse. This fine specimen of automotive machining is Sporting the 111 cubic inch motor that Polaris makes, very popular riding platform uh, based on their Chieftain. This is the murdered out edition. This is all black and in your face. I really do enjoy most of the finishes on this bike are matte black, some are gloss black, and there's just a tiny skosh of aluminum. The riding position is laid back. The bike is well raked and it has an extremely low center of gravity. These are all things that I really enjoy about this bike and the handability of it. This is the vintage model, so you've got some wheel skirts going on. Obviously a little glow in the dark Indian head up front. The uh, generous foot pegs for rider comfort and a forward uh, shifter obviously because of the cruiser style this bike is. There's a only a few changes in the 2021 model versus the 2019 when they launched this. They changed uh, by removing an on-off switch and just sticking with a keyless fob, which is pressable right there, one touch start there. Actually, uh, power and then start, I should say. Uh, the gauge is a multifunction uh, gauge. It is obviously your speedometer, and then uh, there's a digital display underneath the speedometer that gives you RPMs, gears, range, etc. Pretty well laid out, pretty simple. Really do like the styling on this bike. Laid back riding approach, almost like you're riding on a horse. Maybe that's why they call it the Indian Dark Horse. Oh. And uh, of course, check out the seat on this thing. It is cool. So all in all, really awesome bike. Hey, how about we drive this thing? You ready? So to start this bike, there's two different ways. You can just hit this power button and then hit the starter button over here, or you could just hold the starter button down. <laughs> Listen to that thing. It sounds awesome. I got to say, I love this thing. The whole thing kind of shimmies and shakes. It's ready to go. Oh, yeah. The difference about this bike versus riding uh, a comparable like Harley Davidson or a street bike that's a little bit different is that this bike is just, it's like driving a tank. This bike is so big, but it handles like a smaller bike. Here's some power. Check this thing out. I mean, it just pulls. It pulls really well. That's what these big bikes do, you know? they. They have the torque right down low, and 111 cubic inches is nothing to nothing to complain about. I mean, the bike's the bike's well endowed in that area. Excellent snapper off the line, and the bike, again, for being almost 800 pounds fully loaded, uh, really does a fine job with its center of gravity. The bike the bike handles well, very well for being such a large bike. You, you'd think that this is a much smaller bike from the road manners it has. But the, the riding position, it's so comfortable, you're just sitting back like you're on a horse. Or in my other video, as I mentioned, a chariot. And uh, it, it, it's just a nice cruiser, it's all around. Very, very comfortable, very smooth on the power band. The power does seem to top off a little bit on the upper red, but low down is where this bike performs and I mean that's what makes a bike fun to ride like this a nice cruiser you're, you're, you cruise along and you've got your power where you want it you're enjoying the scenery life is good and it's got power when you want it <laughs> quite a bit of power when you want it actually there we go 
coming to a stop sign. Now the gearbox on this thing is massive. I, I literally feel like I'm driving an F-350. It's clunky. The shift's positive, it engages good, but it's, it's a clunky bike. And there we are. 55 miles an hour, just cruising. The wind in your face. And it has good pull. It, I mean, it pulls well for being such a large bike. They, they really thought through the power band on this bike before uh, assembling the motor. I really do like the uh, handlebar position though because I feel like I'm sitting on a couch and I have a walker in front of me. <laughs> and I can just get up and move if I need to. But the way the bike is laid out, again, it handles very, very well. And that noise that it makes is the sound of freedom. Okay, so here we come up. We've got a really sharp corner up here. It's uh, probably about 140 degrees and it goes uphill. So this will give you a nice showcase on using the torque. The brakes on this bike are not the greatest. I will say that, but it's a big bike. And it pulls like a tank. I love it. Such a nice bike. Just cruising along, really nice, having a nice time. Handling well for such a behemoth of a machine. Really doesn't feel like you're driving an 800 pound bike. It really doesn't. It's very, very nice. I have a hemorrhoid of the FTR variety behind me. I'm going to let this guy go by me. Come on, bud. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to go? Because there's a cop up here waiting. Oh, it's not an FTR. It's a stinking Sportster. How we doing, boys? Yes, yeah. Yeah, she's she she puts a little on. I don't even know why I let this person go because they're going slower than I was going. Nice. Again, if strolling down a leisure lane is your cup of tea, this bike handles perfectly for these type of roads. A plush suspension, very comfortable saddle, adequate uh, features for the style of the bike, and a very wide riding stance. Just screams comfort. Now I'm six foot four, so I do wish that the seat was back just a pinch, but Again, bike manufacturers aren't going to make a bike for a gargantuan sized person out of the box. They're normally going to choose a uh, average build. So I'd say if you were 6'1", you'd probably be perfect size on this bike. And if you were shorter, maybe in the 5 foot 7 range, you'd still be just fine because the bike has a very low center of gravity and the seat is not high off the ground whatsoever. Again, very nice handling. I mean, this road is very bumpy and this bike soaks it up, no issues, no complaints. And of course, it handles pretty decent uh, for, again, for this size of the bike. The handlebars on this bike are very large. They are larger than most. It's more of the, I would say, inch and a half variety uh, of grips. So, uh, you know, just, Prepare yourself for that. A lot of the street cruisers like this have the larger profile handles. The sport bikes and stuff, obviously they have the smaller handles. So these, these are a little bit more for vibration control, but not the greatest for sport mode. Again, that sweet purr of the engine, 111 cubic inches, really does a nice job. Now, Indian is really a progressive company right now with a lot of the innovations they're coming out with on their bikes. I've noticed 
Uh, for instance, the FTR, I have a review on my channel of that uh, new model. They really improved on the initial package. And to me, this bike, while it feels similar to the last time I rode it, it's just a really enjoyable bike. It's something that's got good manners, fun to ride, really no complaints about anything. And uh, I do enjoy it. It is a nice bike. So, especially for a beautiful day like this, it's perfect. What could Indian uh, improve on, per perhaps, on this platform? What, what are your thoughts? Th throw them down in the comments section if, if you have any thoughts on that. Uh, in my opinion, I think the brakes could use a little bit of help, uh, but I, I'm kind of a brake guy. I like to be able to stop quick. You know, if a moose came flying out in front of me, I want to be able to jam on those brakes. Um, this bike itself again is very heavy so why not throw an extra caliper up in the front maybe oversize the brakes a little bit make it make it be you know a little bit more on the safety side but again cruiser bikes they're designed for that low and slow mentality just enjoying the ride and and isn't that refreshing get on a bike and just enjoy the ride what do these guys have over harley and a lot of people say is this a harley killer well, you know, when you consider the price point, <laughs> this bike as it sits minus the uh, side bags is like 19.5. A comparable bike from Harley is going to be priced 26 to 27 ish. So you're talking, you're talking, you get a lot of performance in this package, really nice aesthetic, murdered out look, and the price tag is under 20. That's decent, you know. That is decent for sure. The improvements that tr that uh, they can make on this here, Indian can make on this here, uh, would probably detract from the cruiser mentality. They, you know, they want a bike like this that is raked back, comfortable, got a good power torque band down low like this bike has. Uh, and, and just be an enjoyable ride. If you're looking for something to, you know, click on some thrash metal and go rip around in some corners, this bike's probably not gonna be for you. You're not gonna be happy with it. Does it go fast? I'm sure. The speedometer says it goes up to 200, but I think that's a, a little fake myself. <laughs> uh, but do you want a bike that's, you know, just gentle, easy going, nice ride? Then this, this might be it. This might be your bike. Uh, and with a passenger seat, which I'm not sure if this is a, an option on here, but uh, as it sits right now, no pun intended, <laughs> there is no passenger seat. So um, again, you could step up to the Chieftain, the, the decked out model, which has got a fairing and everything else on it, and you're gonna see uh, some more creature comforts, uh, more shiny, more bling, and of course your passenger. So all in all, this bike, very comfortable to ride, very fun to ride, enjoyable, priced right, I mean, could it be a Harley killer? I, I, I would appreciate your comments uh, down below, but in my opinion, bike's pretty good. And it, it, I'm not sure how much more improvement you can make on the classic cruiser rendition without modifying it to the point where it's no, no longer the, the modern classic that you're looking for. Again, price point, the availability of Indian dealers, uh, most Polaris folks will have an Indian dealer or they'll be able to perform warranty service uh, all in all score a one to ten on this bike I, I'm gonna give this bike a solid eight I really like for what it's designed for now I'm not saying my personal preference I I probably wouldn't buy a bike like this because this is not my riding style but if I was gonna buy a cruiser this would be the bike that I would buy because not only is it mean and aggressive looking but it's priced right and it's fun to ride. Listen to this engine again, here we go. And she pulls hard, Bob. She pulls hard. Woo! And that shifter, I heard it's a 727 torque flight from a Dodge pickup truck. That's what legend says. All right, folks, until next time, please ride safe.